Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video I am going to perform harmonic analysis on a helical spring and I am going to part the frequency response. So the spring is fixed at one end and it is subjected to an axial force of 800 Newton in the other end. The frequency varies between 0 to 500 hertz. Open ANSYS workbench. So this exercise comes under harmonic analysis. So I am choosing harmonic response. Now right click on the geometry, go to import geometry and choose the spring IGS file. I am not changing the material properties, so right click on the model and choose edit. I'm starting from mesh, so right click on the mesh and generate mesh. So once if you click the harmonic response, you can see analysis settings here. So if you click the analysis settings, you can see plenty of uh, options here. So the minimum frequency is zero and the maximum frequency is given as 500 and I'm going to solve in 10 intervals. So if you want, you can change this. Next, I'm going to apply the boundary conditions. So right click on the harmonic response, choose insert and select the fixed support. So choose the face selection tool, choose this face and fix it. Next, select force. Then choose this face, click apply. So change vector to component and in the negative y direction, apply a force of 800 Newton. Now to plot the harmonic response, go to solution insert and you can choose frequency response. In that, I'm going to choose deformation and if you choose the deformation you will be asked to choose the geometry so you can go to node selection tool and you can pick any one of the node and click apply next if you want to view the result then go to deformation total deformation and in total deformation you will be asked to change the frequency Okay, so I am changing it to set and if you want the deformation for set number 1 then you can choose set 1 if you want for set 2 then you can vary it so here I am keeping it in the set 1 so right click on the solution and solve it so you can see that for each set the frequency is given here it starts from 50 to 500 so choose the frequency response and you can see that at 50 hertz the amplitude is very high and at from 100 to 400 it is average and in the 500 hertz the amplitude is low okay so this is the frequency response of the given spring so we have already plotted uh, the deformation for the first node because in first first set because in first set only the amplitude is high and the maximum amplitude is 0 0.05 meter okay. so you can animate the deformation so to save the results go to images image to file and deformation set one 